This week on The Choice. This is incredible. You know, we've said it for years. If you are looking to go on the ultimate bear hunt, this is it. Trophy West, British Columbia, Vancouver Island on a boat. Yep, you stay on a boat, you live on a boat, and you use the little grizz to get you in and out. Folks, this is the ultimate bear hunt. Hunting is not about the trophy. It's about the challenges that we face as hunters, and it is our choice how we pursue our prey. Hunting doesn't end when you spot your game. That's when the challenge begins. Closing the distance, becoming part of your surroundings, playing the wind, being patient, and waiting for that moment of truth. From the maximum highs to the ultimate lows, there is no way of predicting how things will turn out. For us, it's about the adventure. The journey. The moments that we share as a family. This, this is, is why, why we, we hunt. hunt. This, this is, is our choice. choice. Welcome to this week's The Choice. Welcome. Do you really need those? No, I don't. You're, you're blind as a bat, aren't you? Put that on the glare, you're gonna mess up the lighting. Hey, this week on The Choice, we're gonna head up to BC. Trophy West, the ultimate Island bear Island bears with the our 10-point crossbows. It's yes. gonna be awesome. This week's lucky it's logo. True Glow, when, true, when brightness counts, count on True Glow. So watch oh, for the True Glow logo, and at the end of the show, oh, we'll tell you what to do with that. Yes. And? And? Let's head. Let's go hunting. BC, Trophy West, when the boys can. Gertie. <laughs> 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 So far, our trip has been amazing. Each of us has taken some really nice black bears with our Hoyts. And we still have two more tags left on the ultimate coastal bear hunt with Trophy West. We're here with Trophy West in British Columbia, right off Vancouver Island. And we are going spotting and stalking for coastal black bears with our 10 point. Yeah, baby. And we got the old man on the, of the sea right here. Yeah, the old man of the sea. <laughs> Tough crowd. Okay, so here we are. We're up and at them and heading out to uh, see if we can harvest a nice big coastal black bear. We're at the uh, mouth of the Knights Inlet, between Vancouver Island and the coast. We've got great conditions. We had a low tide. Bears will be moving. Great sunny weather, calm. Everything's going for us this morning. The only issue we really do have this morning is the hunter. We're gonna travel the shorelines on low tide, which we have right now, and spot bears and go for a big one. Vegan. And we're going to take it with our 10 point crossbow. Uh, you, can you say ruffles have ridges? No, I can't get that out. No. What I am trying to do though is like run the boat and avoid logs and rocks, and I can't see the screen because you're standing in the way. You're doing good um, right now. Yeah, okay, thanks, buddy. If you see something coming up, let me know. God. I've got to use a different strategy with Ralph. I have to use uh, it. I have to use uh, that. <laughs> I would just like, I've got one question. Yes. Does he pick on all the outfitters of this badly or is it just me? It's actually just the love he has for you. Because okay. you're kind of a big thing, Glenn Venus. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> oh dear. We've got a bear here on the right.
to be sitting in a boat and glassing and to watch bears coming down on a coast and eating, you know, all of the sea urchins and everything else as the tide goes out or comes in. And I mean, it's amazing stuff. Low tide is when the bears are out uh, feeding on the beaches. Back at our, uh, on our lodge, we hunt uh, specific hours and they very seldom change because of the way tides are in the ocean. We have to hunt the tides. That's when the bears are out. They're not out on a high tide. There's no beaches available to feed on, so we have to hunt when the tide's down low enough for the bears to be able to get out and feed. We spotted a nice boar feeding because the tide is out and he's feeding over here. We're gonna get the wind in our favor. We're gonna go up on this point and we're gonna work our way around this bay and try to get on it. Yeah, he's down by the shore. Yeah. Yeah. He's working away from him. Yep, yeah, he's already nervous. I know, yeah. I'm already picking up, so I'm trying to go fairly deep. We spotted a nice boar right up here. And our problem was is to get off on this bank, there's absolutely no way of getting in a good location, so we climbed straight up. But you could see the foliage, you could hear the foliage. He heard us, and he just slowly fed back up into the timber. We just, there's no way to get through this. He probably heard us, we made him nervous down there. He just went off. We passed Vicky looking out the back window, spotting a bear. And now, as we get closer, we see two bears down in this bay. Good luck, honey. You've got to understand when you start to travel and experience these other hunts, and especially the terrains. One, you, you have mountainous terrain but then you come into these sharp low valleys that when the tide goes out, you have all these crustaceans that these bears come when the tide's out and they come feed on them. And then you're walking through this, this, this land that's underwater most time. So it's mucky, it's muddy, it's slippery. You got the kelp, you got the seaweed sitting on these rocks and you're slipping and sliding and you're hoping to step on some shells, not to make noise, but to give you some grip so you don't slide. And every time you're walking and you're trying to get close to those bears, you're paying attention to where your feet are touching on the ground. No sticks, no shells. Man, that bear hears that, he looks and he's gone. So, I mean, you're paying attention to all of these little different things and then that mud, that mud just sucks you right down. So then you don't want to pick up your, your foot too fast because it makes a whoop. Bear hears that, he's like, oh no, a bigger bear or a grizz, I'm out of here. So there's a lot of variables that you don't deal with, you know, hunting most of your, your Midwest stuff but it sure creates the challenge that makes it fun. You know, a lot of people ask us year after year, why do you go to a lot of the same outfitters? Well, it's pretty simple. We know that if we air a show that 
Anybody going to the same spot, same area, same outfitter, are gonna have the results or better than what we do. And we feel very confident in that. And that's why we return year after year to Trophy West. Glenn Venus and his crew are just unbelievable. I'm telling you, the guys know the tides, the ins and the outs. They know where the bears hang every year, year after year, and they're putting you in on them. We spotted a boar, he's right in the back of that old, old wreck. That boat over there. We're gonna make our move. If you've done bear hunting, even if you haven't done bear hunting, and you're looking for just an adventure that'll blow your mind, this is it. Trophy West boat hunt for black bears, coastal black bears. Oh, nice one, buddy. Nice work. <laughs> nice work in the heart. In the heart. Bingo, buddy. <laughs> oh. We can point at him, baby. Oh, Good Trophy work. West, baby, the Good ultimate work, bear hunt. Good work, buddy. <clears throat> Nicely done. We had to come all the way across this little point. Got in here. Got in position. <sighs> baby. And just smoked him. <laughs> Look at this, Ken. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, look at this. Holy. Holy god. Spitfire. <laughs> well, we just made a beautiful stalk. Kenny, Glenn, and I got the wind in our favor. We came all the way across this point. Using the boat, we spotted a bear, we hurried up. We got here, we got to that stump over there, ranged him 40 yards, and just 10 pointed him with a spitfire, and the bear went 20, maybe. British Columbia Trophy West, Glen Venus, ultimate bear hunt. I took a nice black bear, you know, on the boat with, with my 10 point. You know, the hunt's not over yet though. Vicky's up. So we decided to head back to the main lodge and try to find one of those big bruisers that cruise up on those mountaintops and see what can happen. After the long boat ride back to the lodge, we decided we better take a few shots with our 10 point crossbow just to make sure that our sights are still on. Where am I? Low left. Was it? Good thing. Uh... Uh, this, this is why you double check things when you travel. Amen on that. Yeah, the scope had to get it pretty good. Well, you go do what you got. Let us work I'll on this. You, I'll tell you what, buddy. Yeah. I'm going to because yeah, uh, go. I've, I've got to do some stuff yeah. to get ready for tonight. Okay, let's go to 40. Take your sticks. Am I right there? Yeah, you're on orange. All right, it is the last day of the hunt. I have got my 10 point all dialed in. It is ready to go. Grab my quiver with my two arrows in it. There is a green area, I guess that, that's an old um, logging road that they actually had hydro seeded, which means there's a lot of green grass and everything else. They spot bears on it. We're gonna walk up some steep grade something or another is what Glenn told me. We're gonna get up there, go and spot and stalk some bears. Look. Thank you. I'm not kissing. We had a I squirrel want a hug. moment. I want a hug. We had a squirrel moment. We're leaving at four. Yeah. It's three thirty. Yeah, I know. Oh, there's one out. There's one out. Kenneth, get in the truck. You're going to get yelled at. Let's go. 
And Glenn's got a trail kind of in here that we're going to go hike up to an old logging road, right? That's been hydro seeded. Yeah, an old debuilt road that's got grass on it that they like to use. We haven't been hunting that for probably close to 10 years. So. It's like a boom. Remember those from last year? The green ones are deadly. Are they really? The green ones are deadly. Really? Seriously, yes. So don't touch it? So it's the last day of the hunt. Glenn and I just hiked about three miles straight up through the rainforest and we finally made it up to the abandoned logging road. This spot hasn't been hunted in over 10 years, and there is bear sign everywhere. Bear this spring pushed it over. You can see bears, they like to rip off the top of the little pine trees to mark their territory. You can tell the piece that's been ripped off is a dead old because it's still green and didn't turn brown yet. So it's the last day of the hunt. Glenn and I just hiked about three miles straight up through the rainforest. This spot hasn't been hunted in over 10 years, and there is bear sign everywhere. Ralph, it's all your fault. You're mean to Glenn, and look what he does to me. It's your fault. Somebody has to pay for it. <laughs> oh, like I want this on my face right now. work, lots of hiking, up like crazy. Glenn just went and <laughs> picked up the backpack that we dropped probably, I don't know, how far back down the mile, like a mile back? Three quarters of a mile back, he dropped our pack. His tag is cut, time to skin him out, quarter him up, and the three of us gotta haul him out of here. And again, this is a beautiful, beautiful island black bear. It's why we come to Trophy West Outfitters. We had a wonderful boat hunt, but again, here we are staying back camp now, back at Lodge last afternoon, and I shot the biggest bear. Ralphie had the biggest bear. Beautiful, beautiful black bear. Unbelievable. You know, now you can see why we call it the ultimate bear hunt. It is, and honestly, at one point with my bear and hearing that crossbow up the side of that mountain, I said to Glenn after, I, I mean, beautiful bear. Yeah. I said, I didn't think I signed up for an elk hunt. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was a... And when Glenn, <laughs> when, when they cut that trail, just yes. specifically to get to where that to grass that one was bear so was luscious. Yes. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, that, that's what's really cool. And, you know, man, we've been so fortunate to meet so many great people yep. in our adventures. We have. And the Venuses, I mean, they're... They're definitely top yeah, shelf on that one. Yep. Hey, if you happen to see the logo, which was True Glow. When brightness counts, count on True Glow. You need to log on to LaChoiceTV.com and click on Lucky Logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to win some great stuff from True Glow as well as other... Manufacturers? Yes. Okay, next week we're heading to New Mexico. Top notch outfitters doing some elk hunting. Elk hunting. Yeah, yeah. So you don't want to miss next week. You know, we all show. love elk hunting, but you know, most of all, what we love is 
getting the kids going and getting everybody else rocking and rolling. Absolutely. So thank you for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. Okay. So this one's ready for me? No, it's for RJ and I. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Y yes, it is. You have to work on You're your wrong. equipment. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>